July is usually the hottest month of the year here in Virginia, and it's prime time for thunderstorms and their lightning. Now, direct cloud to ground lightning is the most dangerous, but there are other kinds. One of them is known as heat lightning, which often occurs on warm summer evenings. Heat lightning is really any form of lightning you can see, but not here. This is because the storm is too far away, or the air is bending the sound waves away from you, so you don't get to hear the thunder. Related to that is sheet lightning. This term is used for lightning within a cloud or between clouds, but not appearing as a distinct bolt. Now perhaps the oddest form of lightning is ball lightning. It's very rare, but it's usually reported to appear as a small glowing ball that lasts for several seconds and sometimes hovers in midair or passes directly through walls. If you ever see this kind of lightning, be sure to get a photo, you'd be famous. Now, although it's not really lightning, St. Elmo's fire is related to thunderstorms. Electrical charges cause a bright blue or purple glow around tall pointed objects, like a ship's mast. And since the era of manned space light, other thunderstorm light shows have been identified. Reaching many miles above thunderstorms to the fringes of outer space are sprites, blue jets, and elves. And no, I'm not making this up. So the next time you're stuck inside with the power out, just remember how fascinating a thunderstorm can be. And I'm Jerry Stenger with the Climatology Office at the University of Virginia, reminding you to be very careful about thunderstorms.